Hey, what is up everyone? Hope you're all well and healthy out there. Today we're going to take a look at my PRS MT15 Lunchbox Valve Head Amplifier, which I acquired about two months ago and have been using and enjoying ever since. So much, in fact, that I've sold an Engel Fireball and a Laney Ironheart, uh, both 60 watt big, huge amplifiers. In my opinion, this is the perfect amp for a home rig but also for recording, uh, especially for direct recording. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So today is not going to be a you know, traditional review where I show you every possible setting and crank every EQ knob to the min and max. You know, I think that's a bit useless, at least to me. So I'm going to show you how I use the amp in, in my context, in my music, which includes using an overdrive and a compressor for the lead and clean channel respectively. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to show you how the amp sounds by its own. It does sound very, very nice by its own, but I like to push things a bit more and just, you know, spice it up a little. Just to pick everyone up about the specs, it's a 15 watt two channel amp. Uh, some say it's much more than 15 watts. Uh, all I can say is that it's pretty fucking loud. Two channels, lead channel, clean channel, with individual EQ sections, both share the presence knob. The um, lead channel has the gain and a master separately. The clean channel only has a volume and a boost with by pulling the treble. It's switchable from 15 to 7 watts. I use it on 15 watts all the time because I have an attenuator, the torpedo captor, which I'm using all the time. So if I play through my cab, it's being attenuated so I can push it a bit more. And if I record, I use the the, uh, the load box, sorry, for uh, direct recording and uh, I can push the amp as well, so I don't need those 7 watts. But in case you don't have an attenuator, it can be handy. Yeah, so I would say let's set this up and uh, have a listen to the amp. Again, I'm going to use my pedal board in this video here. To boost the lead channel, I'm going to use the 805 Overdrive by Simo Duncan. And uh, to give the clean channel a bit more spice, I'm going to use the Nox analog compressor, which is really, really nice and it's very affordable. You should definitely check that out. I'm going to talk about my pedal boards in a separate video, so don't worry. All you need to know is that I'm going to use an overdrive and the compressor and maybe some reverb uh, for the clean channel just to, to show you the amp in some context, because I think all those demos that show the amp you know, naked, it's fine. So you hear the, really what the amp does, but you know I want to show you some real life context here and what sounds I uh, create with this amp. Okay, so I hope you can see everything with my super wide angle lens here. Just to give you an idea what's going on right now. Now I'm going from my guitar, my shovel, into my pedal board, which is going into the front of the amp and the um, reverb is going to, into the effects loop of the, the PRS. Right now nothing is on, nothing is on, okay? Um, speaker out goes into, you can't see it, into the torpedo captor right here via XLR into my Focusrite interface into Logic Pro where I have a cap impulse by Overloud. Um, I am hearing the guitar, uh, the sound, through my studio monitors. So much for what's going on right here. So. Let's have a listen to how this sounds. We're on the lead channel, everything is set to noon EQ wise, and uh, the gain is at 9 o'clock, so this is what it sounds like. Let's give it some more gain. As you can hear, this amp is really saturated um, in gain and really bass heavy. It has a lot of low end, which is nice because you can always take it out. And if you are using an overdrive, you typically lose low end. So that's really fine to me. And it's really warm sounding, which is what I like about this lead channel so much. So let's give it a bit more treble. 
and a bit more presence here and see what it sounds like then. <laughs> Maybe take out some of the bass. It's a really, really thick sound, um, which is something nice for, uh, you know, not every metal genre, but if you're into that, it's a really thick sound. Now, in my genre, I like to have a more dry sound and uh, boost that sound with an overdrive. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to reduce the gain again to like 9, 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to bring the, uh, the bass back in. And uh, I'm going to engage my noise suppressor, first of all, and the 805 overdrive. Level set to maximum, drive set to minimum. And on the EQ, I've set the bass up and the treble far up, so I can really get that bite that I want in the tone. So again, here it is without the overdrive. Nice and dry, so let's boost that. And that's when it's really starting to chug. Yeah, so much for that. Um, I mean, it sounds really nice for leads as well because it's so saturated. If you turn up the gain a bit, I've turned my reverb on just by the way. So let's give it a bit more gain even. And it's really giving you those liquidy uh, lead sounds. <laughs> Nice. Nice. So much for the <coughs> lead channel. Let's turn this off again. And uh, let's switch to the clean channel. As you can see, the lights turn blue. So this is the clean channel with split coil on the neck. It is really, really clean. Now, um, you can give it a bit more crunchness to it if you boost uh, the treble or it's a treble it's not a treble boost but it's an overall boost for the for the um, clean channel so it's a bit crisper with that boost which I really like and uh, I almost use it exclusively with that boost or what I like to do is uh, use my compressor so this is without the boost. So it's really nice and glassy and if you turn up the volume even more you get that really slight breakup but still glassiness. Really really nice. Yeah, that's how I use the uh, clean channel, Not nothing more than that. Maybe I can show you some effects. So uh, this is using my Walrus Audio Fathom reverb. That 
is beautiful. Yeah, that is the PRS MT15. Absolute monster of an amp. So versatile and uh, very, very good sounding amp. I love it. <laughs> Can't show you. <clears throat> I don't want to show you more settings, whatever, because I, I think that was enough already to show how good this amp is. So I don't want to bore you with even more settings and stuff. Um, again, I'm going to talk about the pedal board in another video. But uh, so far for this amp and uh, the use of it. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed the PRS MT15. I really, really enjoyed this amp and I started using it for my recordings, for my singles, for my music. Um, you're going to hear a single recorded with this amp very, very soon, uh, which I'm quite proud of because th the sound this thing gives is just absolutely insane. Just, you know, direct record it into your computer and give it a good cap impulse and it's just fucking massive for this little 15 watt thing. Really, really blown away. I do not regret selling my Angle or my Laney at all, trust me. I was able to free up quite some space in my little home studio here by getting rid of those two big 60 watt heads. I can't, I can't talk about experience with rehearsal and live situations but I'm pretty sure that it can handle uh, a rehearsal and uh, a mic'd up uh, venue. I, th I think so. As always, a huge, huge thanks goes to my patrons who are supporting me and my channel. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you are interested in little candies like presets for Overloud THU or tabs of my original songs, which I'm going to release frequently every few weeks or so. Uh, upcoming single, as I said, in uh, the next time very, very soon. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope it could make up your mind about the PRS MT15. I am so in love with this amp. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching again. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I will see you next time.